it grieves me for anyone that's part of this committee to slander you uh, and be remorseless when they make slanderous comments about you or mean-spirited people in the administration that simply want to enforce the law. I don't hear any of that kind of outrage uh, on behalf of victims of crime, including children who are victims of crime, for people who have come in illegally, including in sanctuary cities. But for the record, I would like to know, were children separated from the person accompanying them alleged to be parents during the Obama administration? Yes, sir. And you're saying that under oath because it's true, correct? Yes, sir. And on behalf of, uh, uh, you know, someone who knows, uh, I'm always glad to fill in the gaps in people's knowledge or ignorance in a particular area. So let me just state for those who are not aware, since I've worked in most areas of our criminal justice system, um, from, well, uh, parents are separated yeah. from children every single day of every year, year after year, when a parent uh, when there's probable cause to believe a parent has committed a crime. I've signed countless warrants, judges all over the country do it every day, and parents who have probable cause they committed a crime are separated from their children, and those are usually U.S. citizens. It's what happens when a parent is believed to have committed a crime. Mueller did it, and I know it, he's a hero to some folks around here, he did it to Manafort, separated him from his two beautiful children. It happens. Now, um, you mentioned that asylum is actually only found to be appropriate in about 10%, is that right, of the people that claim asylum? Yes, sir. And for my colleague who left, um, if Mary and Joseph were trying to come into the United States under the situation that existed and King Herod was tr trying to kill everybody under two, uh, wouldn't they be eligible for asylum in the United States? Yes. Yeah, so uh, he can scratch that from his concerns. They'd get into the United States. Um, have children been found to be in the custody of people who were not only not their parents, but who were um, child predators? Yes, sir. And that's a fact, isn't that's it? That's a fact. And that's one of your concerns when you separate children, when you're not sure if this is a predator or a parent, or in some cases, a parent predator, correct? Yes, sir. There's three instances, long-standing practice, when a adult accompanying a child is a threat to that child, as you're describing, when the parent accompanying the child is not a parent at all, there's no familiar relationship, and then if the parent has committed a crime and needs to be taken to a criminal setting, we're not gonna bring the child with that parent to jail. And I can tell you as a witness, I have been on the border in south of, uh, southwest of McAllen at two, three in the morning with a long line of people being questioned from the other end when people were trying to decide which one of them was gonna take custody of a little child and claim that child as their own. There was no way to know who that child really belonged to, and I sympathize with the efforts of trying to figure that out and appreciate what you're trying to do. It's amazing though, you said, uh, if someone is detained as claiming asylum, they get a, a, a decision within 40 days on average. If they're not detained, do you say over 1,200 days? 1,300. 1,300 yes, days. Would it help, and I realize the immigration judges are under control of the DOJ, but Jeff Sessions has mentioned he thought we ought to get those judges right there on the border where people get an immediate hearing. Would that be something that would be helpful to DHS and to your being even more considerate than you already are for those coming across illegally? 
Yes, sir. So that's something we've been working on with uh, now acting Attorney General Whitaker. Uh, we used to call them port courts, but the concept is to either have the judges right there or to provide civics capability uh, so that we don't lose time in transporting, that we're able to immediately uh, adjudicate the claim. Okay, and just so it's not thankless, thank you for your service. The chair recognizes the gentleman from Tennessee, 